Hello folks, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Power BI for real-time data reporting using Dataverse table. So stay tuned and let's go to the demo after this short intro. I'm inside Microsoft Office 365. From the left-hand app launcher menu, click on Power Apps. Okay, so from here, from the left hand menu, I'll click on Dataverse and then I will click on Tables. This will list all the tables in the Dataverse. So for this demo purpose, I will just take the Accounts table and will try to build a Power BI report which is real time using this Accounts Dataverse table. So if I click on Account table and if I go to Data tab, I can see there are four records sitting in this account table. So the next thing I need to do is I need to connect the Power BI desktop to this account table. If you don't have Power BI desktop installed in your PC, you can go to powerbi.microsoft.com forward slash en hyphen us forward slash downloads. Here you can see a lot of different types of Power BI desktop you can install on your PC. I have Windows PC so I can install Power BI desktop by clicking on download here. Once you have Power BI downloaded and installed, it should look something like this. Okay, so on this top menu, I can see this Dataverse icon. If you don't see this icon here, and if you have Power BI desktop installed in the past, make sure you update it. This happens to me, I could not see this and I have to update my Power BI desktop to the latest version so I can connect to the Dataverse. So either you can click directly from here or you can click on get data and then if you click on more okay so I need to select power platform and then I can see the Dataverse option is here as well so I can click on it click on connect this will connect the Power BI to my Office 365 environment Dataverse tables so if you're not logged in already like I have logged in but if you're not logged in, it will ask you to log in to your Office 365 tenant. There are two different environments I have in my Office 365. If you have only one environment, you will just see the one environment here. This is my main environment, so I will click on that. And then I'm interested in account table, so I will select the account table and simply click on load. Okay, so this is an important step. So you can choose how you connect to your data source. You can bring a copy of this data source into a Power BI using an import, which is it's going to create a data set for you and host it in your Power BI portal. Or you can make a live connection to this data source. So for this demo purpose, we are interested in the real time live connection. So I will select the direct query approach here. This is not a really recommended approach if you have a large volume of data. Uh, so you have to choose your choices very carefully here. If you click on OK, so we are making a connection to the account table sitting in Dataverse via a direct query connection because we want real-time data. OK, so the connection is successful. I can see in the right-hand menu, if I click on account, I can see all the columns from the account table in Dataverse. I will simply click on this simple table visualization and then I will select a field, probably the name field I will select because that's the account table. As soon as I selected the name field, I can see the four names appearing here. So these are four accounts sitting in our Dataverse. I think this is enough for my test. So I can publish this Power BI report to my Power BI portal and then I can go into Dataverse table and make some changes and then see if the Power BI report is able to refresh in real time. So I can click on publish. It is asking me I want to save changes locally first. So I click on save. I will just call it accounts report and save it locally. Click on save. And then with the same name, it's going to publish this report into my Power BI portal. Now it is asking me for the destination. I can select any of these workspaces. For testing, I can just select my workspace, which is personal to me. I will click on select. And it is now publishing that report to the Power BI portal. Now the report is published successfully. I can click on this to open this report in the browser. Okay, so I can see the four accounts here. Let me go into Dataverse and make some changes to the accounts table. So let's add a new record. 
I will add account name here. I will just call it David Fox and then I will click on save and close. So I have just created a new account in the account table with the name of David Fox. Let me go ahead and update someone's name here. So if I select this account and click on add a record, instead of Paul Hogan, I can say Paul Harris. So we, I have changed the name of this account. So I've made an amendment to this account and I've already created one new account. So I'll click on save and close. Okay, so those two updates are going to appear here. If I just click on refresh data, I can see the updates are made to the accounts table. Now, if I head back to my Power BI report and from the right hand side, if I click on refresh visual icon, this should update my Power BI report as well with the changes we just made to the accounts table. Now, straight away, I can see the David Fox record got created and then Paul Hogan record is changed to Paul Harris. So this is a real time refresh. It doesn't need to wait for the data to be refreshed after some interval. So just to do the wrap up in this video, you have learned how to use Power BI reports for real time data reporting using Dataverse tables. Thank you for watching this video. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel by pressing the red subscribe button below this video and click the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos as I upload new videos every week. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you have any question regarding this Power BI topic or any other query related to Office 365, put in the comment section below. I review the comments on a daily basis. I will be happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much.